Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in, if you are tuning in. I just wanted to do a quick little project share. Um, I decided to try those cute little paper clips that everybody is doing right now. Um, and I've seen Sandy from Satria18, and I saw Tina. Oh, what is her channel called? I can't remember what her channel is, but she did some awesome ones too. Super adorable. Um, really easy. Um to make. I use these paper clips um, from a beautiful mess that are really um, good quality. They're like brass, I think. Um, and I had five of them, so eventually I probably will use all five, but I thought I'd share after just these two because you'll get the general idea for the vibe of them. I also use these rhinestones from uh, the Dollar Spot from a couple years ago in the fall. Um, I used the Heritage cardstock stickers. I used the Heritage waterfall stickers and I just backed them with white paper and then um, fussy cut around so that they would be, um, you could see the images better. What else did I use? I used these, um, oh gosh, this is a hot mess. Okay, I used these Sunny Days charms. <laughs> That's really cute. Um, <laughs> hang on, let me pick the debris off of them here. Um, I used a couple of those. Really cute. I love these charms. I used a paper pad. Um, I have Maggie Holmes paper, but I just, I don't know. It wasn't handy. So I actually found this like little, um, paper pad called Cedar Lane from American Crafts. That's from Tuesday morning. Um, it's a pretty cute little paper pad. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's I. Right. And I used basically just these three papers from it so far. I don't even think I used this paper. I just um, used the strip at the top, the border strip at the top, which worked out really well. Um, okay, so I think that's all the products that I used. Oh, and I didn't have any um, jump rings. So I actually, speaking of hot messes, <laughs> just used this gold twine and then I um, burnished it or burned it with my Bic um, and it actually worked out fine. I think in the future I would use jump rings and I may, if I get more jump rings before I gift these, redo it, but it actually turned out okay. Um, I wish I had my poker tool, but I don't. Let me see if I can get some tweezers here. Okay, I think I got something. Okay, so um, this first one um, turned out, I, I like it, I think it's cute. It's like a little bit, got a little weight to it, a little chunk to it, a little dimension, but not too much. Um, I have used this, um, sentiment pack from Studio Calico that's like got some real, um, interesting sentiments on it, um, that are almost what I would refer to as useless. And then there's some other nicer ones too. Um, I'll probably keep going and use Sweetheart and, um, uh, maybe a few others for Mother's Day, um, if I, um, make more of these. And, um... I used the Sunny Days Charm here. I backed it with um, just a half uh, is it a half inch punch, circle punch of that paper, and then a little um, gold sequin that, oh, this is, I used these too. Um, the Heritage sequins here, leaf sequins. And then I also used some paillettes or sequins from the Willow one canoe two pack there. Um, and then I had a tiny little bow punch from Maggie Holmes. God, that looked creepy, right? Um, tiny little bow punch from Maggie Holmes. So that's how that one turned out. I think it's super cute. And then this one I made a little shorter. Um, this was kind of my first one. It's like the first pancake syndrome where I realized I cut this part too short. So, um, um, but for this one, I did the same thing. I just, you know, used that border strip to make a little flag, put I love you, um, used some dimensional pop-ups with a leaf from the Maggie Holmes cardstock. This one was the one I backed and fussy cut from the waterfall stickers. I layered one of those target sequin or target um, rhinestones over a little um, sequin from the One Canoe Two Willow Pack. And then I used that sweet fruit charm and punched out just some coordinating 
on the back because these were sticky on the back. I probably just would have left them gold, but they were sticky. And then that felt just kind of yucky. Like who wants to put a sticky paper clip on their um, papers? So yeah, so I think that's it um, for now. If I make any more, maybe I'll show them, but probably this is just enough to get the idea. And I don't know if I already said this, I can't remember, but I saw these on Sandy's channel, Satria18, and then Tina's channel, and I can't remember. Um, I'll figure out who Tina is and then probably link it down below because her channel is amazing. She makes beautiful things. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe, and thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.